Hello, my name is Sonia Clegg and I am the Biology Fellow at St Anne's and Associate Professor of Evolutionary Ecology in the Department of Zoology here at Oxford. As well as acting as personal tutor for all the St Anne's biologists, I'm um, also teaching to all levels of the biology degree. The degree covers uh, the topic in the broadest remit, from cells to organisms, ecology, evolutionary biology, um, applied aspects such as conservation, as well as obviously cover covering a range of organisms from bacteria through to animals and plants uh, and their interactions. So students can choose to leave after three years and graduate with a BA, or they can continue for a fourth year and graduate with an MBiol. The fourth year consists of an extended research project supervised by one of the many active researchers in the field. What am I looking for in an applicant? Well, first and foremost, I'm looking for a genuine interest and enthusiasm for biology. Of course, your track record in assessments is important, but when shortlisting for interview, I pay close attention to your personal statement uh, and the reference from your school to get an idea of the level of motivation and enthusiasm that shines through. During the interview, I ask a series of questions where I'm not trying to test your factual knowledge, but rather your academic potential by noting how you go about thinking about a problem and how you can process additional information that may modify your first answer. An important thing to remember is that I'm not trying to trip you up, but rather assess your ability to present logical, defensible arguments. So in preparation for a biology uh, application at Oxford, my main recommendation is to read widely as you can and watch online seminars uh, on biology subjects that interest you. When you do this from a place of sincere interest rather than just trying to uh, learn facts, it will help you to think about biology and science in a more integrative way and hopefully this will come through in an interview setting. Good luck with your applications. I'm Helen Christian, I'm a tutor for medicine at St Anne's. My research expertise is in endocrinology, the study of hormones, and my lab is based in the Department of Physiology, Anatomy and Genetics. And our research is interested in stress hormones and how they influence the pituitary gland. I teach um, in years one to three in the preclinical uh, courses, particularly in endocrinology and reproduction. What we're looking for in applicants to medicine are individuals have the personal qualities that will put them in good stead to be a good doctor. Empathy, good communication, good listeners, good awareness of medical ethics and motivation to study medicine and all it entails. In the Oxford course you complete uh, a medical sciences degree by the end of, of year three and it's therefore important that you have a strong enthusiasm and curiosity in science. An interview we're looking for good problem solving, good critical thinking and applicants that show the potential to thrive in the tutorial uh, style of teaching. Usually I would be recommending at this point that you get lots of volunteering or medicine shadowing experience to inform your motivation to study medicine but clearly in these Covid times that's going to be a lot more difficult even not possible. The Medical Schools Council has produced an excellent guidance booklet which you can download from their website about alternatives that you can uh, do at these times. They've got some great links to virtual uh, medical experience resources. One of the most obvious recommendations I can make is to engage with the news and the developments around the combat COVID pandemic. Many healthcare professionals are writing and posting online about their experiences of working during the pandemic. Listen and reflect on what they have to say. These are unprecedented times. My name is Kate Watkins and I'm the psychology tutor at St Anne's College. In the psychology school at St Anne's we have lecturers who also help me to teach different parts of the course. These include people like Nila Damayera, Simon Vivian and Margaret Moore, along with tutors in philosophy and in linguistics. So as you may already know, at St Anne's we admit students to read two different degrees in psychology. The first is called experimental psychology and the second is called psychology, philosophy and linguistics or PPL. 
The students who are going to read psychology, philosophy and linguistics typically only choose two of those three. And at St Anne's that would be either psychology and philosophy or psychology and linguistics. It's possible for students reading both of the degrees to take individual papers either in philosophy or in linguistics. So you might want to have a look at those papers as well as the specific degree that you're interested in. In the first two terms here, we teach you what's called the prelims course. So you'll be having tutorials with me or with Neela once a week, um, teaching you the introduction to psychology. And we cover topics like developmental and social psychology, perception, cognition, um, and brain and behavior or psychobiology. You would also take um, the introduction to probability theory and statistics. And that's what most of our students um, do here. And then the third course that you would take at prelims would involve either neurophysiology, if you're reading experimental psychology, or a philosophy paper, which is a general introduction to philosophy and logic, or um, some linguistics papers. You can find out more about all of the courses that I'm talking about and the up-to-date details of those courses on the department's website, so please go and have a look um, there. In terms of um, what preparation you might need to do in order to apply for a degree here in psychology, um, we don't really have any kind of um, prescriptive advice. So we don't require a set of um, A-level subjects to have been studied previously, or if you're doing other, other kinds of exams, we don't require that you have um, any particular qualifications although we, we are interested in students who are typically interested in science subjects or maths um, and that's what we normally see in our applicants um, to read psychology. But what we really want to see is your enthusiasm for the subject. We want to see that you are really passionate about studying psychology and to become passionate you need to kind of inform yourself, you need to inform yourself about what this degree here might entail at Oxford so have a look around and dig up as much information as you can to make sure it's the right degree course for you but also read widely and read a lot so read the BBC web pages um, for the science news read um, online magazines or, or print magazines um, like um, Scientific American, there's a special issue on the mind that they do a couple of times a year um, that you might want to read. Just generally um, hunt around for good science stories that will grab your interest and talk to other people about them. Talk to your families and friends um, about what you've read. Getting some practice in talking about science is really good preparation for interviews, I think. Um, but just generally for becoming a sort of mature student in that subject. So you've always got something that's interesting to whoever you're talking to. Everyone wants to know more about what makes them them, what, um, why people behave the way they do and what goes wrong in the brain um, in, when we have diseases or disorders or the brain is injured. And there are many fascinating examples of that um, that you can talk about um, or learn about for the first time if you don't already know them. I look forward to seeing you in person um, sometime, perhaps later this year. Good luck with your applications. Thanks very much.